Good morning, everyone. Hey, it's Jolene, and I wanted to welcome you to week three of my Party of Five challenge group. Now, some of you may be watching this, and you may be saying, but I, I'm not in your Party of Five, um, and I know that. And this is really a shout-out to those five women who did accept to be involved in a very consistent and committed accountability group and a chance for them um, to see on my face how proud I am of them um, and for them to, to turn around and share their testimony with you guys because these are the five people who decided and made a conscious and active choice to choose a 90-day fitness program, to choose 90 days of uh, nutritional support using Shakeology, and to choose 90 days of mental and emotional and social support through accountability on our private Facebook page. And I wanted to say to them that I love you. I'm so proud of you. I love hearing from you every day. I love hearing the yays. I love hearing the ugh. You know, we, we all have been there. But I want you five women to have a chance to share with those on the Fit with Joe wall how exactly this challenge has impacted you. How has it impacted me? Well, goodness, I've been a Beachbody coach for a year and a half. Um, I am already sold on the idea of accountability, and I have a lot of accountability people in my life to help me to stay on track with my fitness and my health goals. But something new has happened for me personally um, with the addition of this small group of five. I feel like I've gotten to know you. I hope you feel like you've gotten to know me. Um, you are the five women that I, I know without a doubt I've got to check in with every day. Um, and it, it just inspires me and motivates me to get down to my basement and press play. And to choose um, a really awesome glass of Shakeology over the sourdough bread or the ciabatta loaf that is sitting in my kitchen right now. So anyway, if, if you're watching this and you're like, okay, okay, challenge group, challenge group, challenge group, I think I want to look into this. Um, I have no problems with starting a new one in December. I know that that seems really scary to start um, a fitness and a nutrition and an accountability thing in December. But I guarantee you that if you start in December, you will be more successful than if you start in January. The whole New Year resolution thing, especially when it, it comes down to fitness goals, you know, I, I, I personally believe that um, it's a saboteur. Is that how you say it? It's sabotage. <laughs> um, I, think, I think research shows that six weeks into a uh, New Year's resolution about health and fitness, people have dropped off the wagon. I'd love to start with you in December. In January, I want to start a very specific group for P90X2. Now, that doesn't mean that will be my only group in January, but for me personally, I'm going to need a group of P90X2 peeps to help me along. Yeah, so I'd like to start a group of five in January for P90X2 specifically, and then another group of five. Um, with any program that you would like to choose. And we have so many to choose from. We've got, in my challenge group alone this time, we have a Rev Abs, that's me. We have a Slim and Six. We have two Shaleen Extremers. We have a Power 90 gal, and we even have a 10-minute trainer gal. So we can help you decide which program will be best. You know, in December, we've got Pump coming out. Pump is an in-home program by Les Mills. Les Mills is who does Body Pump at gyms all over the country, that's coming out. Maybe you'll want to tackle that. All I'm saying is you have to make a conscious and committed choice. Consistency is the key. And if we can start you in December, you're going to be more successful in January when everybody is just starting or just starting to think about it. So, ladies in my party of five, would you leave um, a testimony under underneath this uh, video post and just share what the challenge group has meant to you. If you'd like to share um, some of your successes, uh, you're welcome to do that as well. But what I'm seeing as success is that you guys are feeling better. I can tell it just by how you're sharing about your day. You're feeling better and you're developing a consistent habit in your life. And the numbers will follow. And I know that we've had some change in numbers, good numbers going down. But that's not what it's all about. There's so much more. And if we could just round out that idea that fitness has to be about weight loss, 
um, we would be more successful because it's not just about weight loss. It's about changing your head. It's about changing how you feel as, along with changing some of those physical stats. So ladies, please share your testimony. And then those of you out there who are feeling that nudge, you're like, what? I got to do something. I got to do something. I want to talk to you about making a party of five a part of your group as well. I think as uh, Carl Deichler, our CEO, put it, instead of having a new happy New Year's Day, how about having a happy New Rear Day? Hmm. I'm working on that right now with uh, uh, Rev Abs. Believe it or not, my glutes and uh, they are they are hurting. Um, so anyway, I want you to think, what are your goals? Are you ready to try something new? Because these women were. And now I'd like you to hear from them. All right. Take care. Bye.